Good day, good day. Is it was a good day today? Well, I did good today. This is good. This is good. Yes, indeed. This is good. Okay, let's get into it. All right, this is the Nasdaq two minute chart. You can see right up here, two minute. Yeah, and it's still going. And I was long in here, and I could have kept going, but I took it right at that motherfucking 50 line. Why? Because it could have turned around there huge and took it down. You see how in a long trend, they always they always have a retracements along the way. Why, why do they have that? Because that's, okay, so, you know, there's people long and short, I guess. I don't know, but mainly long, probably more long than short. And, you know, they have this big dip, you know. It's like, why did they come and dip, dipsy doodle down here? Because there was no more sellers <laughs> closing out their buys, right? Yeah. So they had to go and dig for them a little deeper, you know. It's like up in here, there was no... There was no more liquidity to dig up, dig up, dig up, dig up, dig up, dig up, even dig up right here. <laughs> okay, that's that's what's going on. They're always after your your liquidity. They're trying to take it right out of your fucking back pocket, and they do it successfully. Whoever they may be, the the hedge funds, the institutions, whoever I don't know who. All that I know is I used to call them the big dogs. Woo! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Bark like a big dog. I can't I can't do a little dog. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> I can do the big dog better. Woo! Woo! Sorry, I had to throw a couple barks in there. I hope that doesn't scare you away. Okay, let's take a look at this now. When price was down here, I was waiting for it to break down through here. No, 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 no. It did not do that. It did not do that. So anyway, there's no fucking divergence in there today. Where the hell get going here? Okay. There's nothing here. Our actual first trade, let me show you. Lower close. Right there, yeah, it keeps going. I bet you it's going to go right back up to the top of yesterday and higher today. I wish I had the holding and the nerve and the guts to hold my trades like that. You know, I can see it on the bigger chart, right? I would make so much more money, but I, I'm, I'm not. Um, I'm one of those traders that bad things happen to sometimes. And where, if I fucking try and buy it up here, it'll just go down. <laughs> and there's a lot of other traders just like that. It's crazy. I don't know what it is. It's like we have devils on our shoulder. Sell. Sell now. Hurry and sell. It's going to go back. It's going to go back up. You're going to lose. Sell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, okay. There is... The first one, that's a buy right there. Zing, it was a winner. Number two is right there. Again, right close to each other. Buy it right here. Up it goes. Now, these are trades that they technically, they technically do not qualify according to my rules because we need for it to close very close to the five. It didn't do that here, okay? Um, and this one, too, it didn't do it. But let me show you where it did do that perfectly. See, right here, lower close. See how close it is to the five, that white dash line? Do you see how far away from the white line it is right here where it closed? And this one, too, see? They're a little too far, but guess what? They worked out anyway if you took a chance, okay? Now, the next setup, see up here how far it closed from the white line right here? See that? So the next one would be right here. Let me show you. 
Oh, okay. Where is that motherfucker? Right there. Okay, so you would have got long on the opening, on the close of this candle. And what did it do to you? Well, it didn't do much. They were, see, there's two ledges here. Let me, let me show you this. Let me show you this. I want you to see this. So very, very much. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on, you little nasty skink. Come on. There. Now. Ooh, it wants to bounce on here. <laughs> See that? That top ledge? See that? See that? Now. Hold on now. Here's another ledge. Let me show you. I call them ledges. I don't know what else to fucking call them. Um, I call them a ledge. Come on. Ah, you're not too straight, you motherfucker. Not you, Fook. <laughs> I say that instead of mother, mother effer, I say Fooker. <laughs> I'm not calling you a motherfucker. Okay? So anyway, let's pick this up now and bring it right to there. Now, you see this little box here? You see when price came up? They were they were selling it back down. Price came back back up. They were selling it right back down. And then you could say, because it's in an uptrend, there might be traders that every time it came down, they were buying it back up. Came down, buying it back up. You know what I mean? That's how they do that. These motherfuckers, motherfuckers, they. They're, they're trapping you in this little box. They're making it go a little bit up and a little bit down. So here we are getting fucked by by whoever's doing this, the institutions and, and uh, you know, the big dogs. Whoever's fucking doing it. And if you're, if you're trying to get out of this little mess, you know, if it comes up here and, and you think, oh, it's going to go up now, and you buy, and then they take it down here and get you again, okay? They do this over and over again. They They create... I don't know how it happens, but they create these ledges. And they, when price comes down to, the, to a ledge, they buy. When price comes up to the ledge, they sell. And they take their goddamn profit before it goes the wrong way on them. That's what they're fucking doing. That's my deep lesson for today. Okay? Okay. And then we have... One more lower close, buy it right there, and look at that. See, if I was still in it, I, I, I got out right here. I would have made this much more, but I don't have the fucking patience. That's the problem with, with trading. It's not your system. It's you. And like I just said, it's me that can't fucking hold on, or can't do this, or can't do that, or the psychology. It's, it's us. We're not fucking robots. You see what I'm saying? There you have it. There you have it. That's why we, we lose at times, because our emotions get in the way. And I'm looking on another chart right now, 15 minute. It looks like it's going straight to heaven, man. Straight right up, back up there to the high of yesterday. And But, but there's a little turnaround point. It might stop there and do a little retracement, and or it could go all the way back down. Look at that, right up to 18,900. So one more hundred, and where are we? We're at that new high of 19,000 again, aren't we? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, I talked a little bit too much today. Oh, look, I found a trade. I just wanted to show you this ledge here. Here, hold on. Oh, come off it. Come down here. That's it. And how about we draw it to there? Okay, there's the pullback up. There's the pullback. So what do we have? What do we have? Well, we have divergence, baby. Yeah, where you would have bought right there. There's no divergence down here, ladies and gents, none. There's only one trade. It's right here. Let me show you. Other than my, you know, my pullback trades, my 
lower close trades. There's one. There's four of them right here. Here's another one. Five. Okay. But the divergence in which we have divergence to you know to get in on the trade. This is hard to see bullish divergence, known as known around the world as hidden divergence. But I renamed it and I call it hard to find divergence. I have easy to see bullish, easy to see bearish, easy uh, a hard to see uh, divergence bullish, and hard to see uh, divergence. Oh, if I can't even say it. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Hard to see bullish. That's what this is right in front of your face right here. Okay. Right here. And there's hard to see bearish divergence, which we had a lot of yesterday. Yeah. Because the market was going way, way down. That's right. Okay. Now I'm finished with this chart. Okay. We can move on now to one sec. I got to pause this for a sec. Okay, I'm back, ladies and gents, for some more divergence setups, okay? So this is the NASDAQ on MetaTrader now. The other chart was two minutes. This is five, okay? This is a five-minute chart. Did we have some divergence on here? Oh, yeah. For sure. And I'll show you. Um, where's that line? There's that line, too. Also, we basically got... Like a triple kind of low right there, double low. And draw it like that. It's a little long, but hey. So, you would have got long. Actually, maybe I think we would have took it from here right there and you would have got in there see i'm trying to tweak it to the good there don't do that jason don't do that to your followers because then they'll be saying oh he faked that he pulled it to the next one that fucker no i want to show the losers because i know there's not many of them i want you to see the losers okay okay and we'd have to draw that to there so that's that's a double bottom Okay, right there. And our stop. Look at that. <laughs> so, we would have got in. Let me put the, the head of the arrow right where we would have got in. So, we would have got in. Come on, turn off. Okay. We would have got in exactly right there. Our stop would have been right, right here. Guess what they did? They came and they said, ha ha, tag, you're it, and I got your stop. You're fucked. That's what they did. So they got the stop, because it was. I always put it at the swing low. This doesn't happen very often, but it can happen. Okay? It can happen. So anyway, um, if you had the balls to try it again, to get your losses back, because... You got in right there. You lost 29 ticks or, or points or whatever on that trade. But were you willing, were you willing to get back in again on the opening of this one? If you were, okay, your stop is much bigger now, 48 point stop, okay? But you're getting in long. We're going to keep going up, eh, you bastard. I always do that. I get, I, I take my profit too soon. And, you know. And it keeps going, motherfuckers. What I should have done is just put a fucking a break-even thing on it. And just watch it go. And go, woo-wee. I'm in the money. I'm in the money. So, anyway, your stop would have been 49 points. And look how far it went up. 130 you would have been good okay but along the way we had this right here lower close buy it up it goes 
and and then so this one was a loser you would have made it back right in here and then if you did another trade in here you made you made profits so that's what you got to do you got to realize that you're not going to win on every trade you got to realize that you're going to have a loser and when you have that loser and the same trade happens again but this time it looks even better you know what i mean Maybe we should have never took this trade over here because the fucking main pivot was on, on the, you know, on the chart. And that's exactly, you know, telling you, hey, don't, don't. Wait till we break through here, maybe. Because look, look what it did here, a fucking barcode. And right here, see? So, I don't know what you would have done, but you could have got your, your money back and profit if you would have done what I just said. Okay, let's look at the S and the P now. Huh, what do we have here? We have basically a double bottom, I would call it. And it actually had the same kind of setup for, no, actually there was no trade there. I was going to say right here, but no. We don't draw our lines pointing up like like that. We have to have a lower low here or a, or a double bottom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So we come from here right into here. There's no trades in here. Well, actually, no. There is a fucking trade here. Look. Ah. Higher highs, right there. So you would have sold right there. Look at this. I was going to say, am I on the 15? No, I'm on the fucking 5. So you would have got short there. Your stop was at the swing high at that point in time. Uh, six and a half points. Did it give us six and a half points? No, it gave us four and something. So, you would have got a little bit there. And then we had a double bottom, basically. And draw it to here. And... You would have bought it somewhere in here. And it went up. And they fucking see they did a sell fake right here. They freaked people out. And then they took it way up, as you can see. Yeah, they're playing games today. So, anyway, let's look at the Dow. What did it do? Oh, it did some fucking chop and then a fucking flop and then fucking right up. And then right up. And look, look. There's no divergence here. Hold on. No. There's no divergence here. Lower lows. Right? No. This one needs to be high, high less than this one. And it wasn't. So there was no divergence here to uh, buy it up here. What about over here, though? We had a high and a higher high. I bet you we'll go look at the pound and the euro and it'll look good today. Okay. Right there. You would have sold right in there. Let's see. Let's see what we got out of this. Eighty points on the Dow is the stop, and it went down thirty. We didn't get our eighty. And then it came back up here and it fucking chopped. And if you would have held on, you still never got your eighty, but you would have got something. That's the fucking Dow. What's the pound? Oh, pound just trend tra trended up. I guess you could say. We might want to look at the 15 minute. Yeah, yeah. We do have one trade on the 15 minute. It's right here. And it was a buy in there, as you can see. 
It went up 30 pips on the pound dollar. Euro dollar? Ah, not good. What about the 15? Oh, it's good from way down here. No. This needs to be higher on this side. There's no divergence here to buy, but there definitely is places to um, to do trades. Like right here, lower close, buy it, up it goes. Lower close, buy it, up it goes. Here's another one, lower close, buy it, up it goes. And there's another one. That's enough. Well, there's one here at 7 o'clock, but that's the fucking euro. <laughs> it's very hard to trust the euro. Ooh-wee, we're coming to that point right now on the NASDAQ where is it, it's going to stop and turn around, or is it going to plow right through here? Let me go back to that and show you what I mean. Um, 15 minutes. See right here, this is what I'm looking at. Is it going to stop here and come back down for a little dip to, to, to get some more stops, liquidity? Or is it going to plow through here, R1, plow through and go to a new high up here? See, this is the wrong price. It says up here, 18095 It's off by like 100 fucking pips, points, ticks, whatever. So I don't follow the, this by the price. I just follow it by the movement. Um, so that's the question right now. Is it going through here? Is it going higher up here by the end of the day? I bet you it will. Because they love, they love to sell this fucking shit. You get everybody fucked that was long up here. And they get them down here. <laughs> and then everybody that was short down here, they bring it back up and get you up here. Bastards! Fucking bastards! They do this over and over and over again. Over and over and over again. It just can drive a sane man crazy. You know what I'm saying? My fellow divergence traders, I'm telling you, man. That's what they fucking do. Over and over again. Okay, we finished with the euro. Now we need to go to the pound yen. Oh, some divergence there, baby. Very easy to see it, too. Come on, let's get out of there. And this is what? What are we looking at? Oh, pound yen. Pound yen, ladies and gents. And uh, the divergence is right there. And right there. You would have got long in here. Right in there, and it just went up for you. Beautiful thing. Just a beautiful thing. There's actually a trade down here too. Oh no, what am I talking about? That's that's in the Asia session. Forget that shit. Forget that. Well, unless we ignore this big wick here and that it's kind of near the end of the Asia session. Let's do this. And you would have got long in here, and it went up. And here's another lower close. Buy it up, it goes. And if you tried this one, <laughs> well, that's actually a hookup. That's a hookup because it closed below the moving averages. Okay, so let me show you. Hookup right there so right here when it rallied back up above the moving averages which is giving you a heads up and saying hello hook up hook up bye bye now right Could have bought right there and up it went okay let's look at euro yen ej as known today the ej and let's shrink this here okay right here i see it now Sometimes you got to make the chart smaller to see it, to see the divergence. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's just it's just the way it is. It's a weird thing. 
You know, it's a, a forever moving fucking price almost. Um, let's put another line here, right here to right there. And we have, oh, no, no, not the monthly. <laughs> okay. Um, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for the, the arrowhead right there. Boom. Would have bought it right there at around 7.30 right here. Went up 34 points on the EJ. Okay, let's take a look now at uh, oil first and then gold and then crypto. Okay, oil. What did it do today? See, we got to make it smaller to see it properly. Oh, look at it there. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Isn't that beautiful? Woo, right there. Oh, oh, oh. There's one more. There's one more. We, we got to do this one. Got to do that one. Yeah. And we got, oh, oh, one more. We got to do this one. I'll finish drawing everything up that we need, okay? Okay. Cool. Okay, so this one, um, it is divergent this way. See it? Okay, that's divergence. That's hard to see divergence to the downside. Let's get that arrow on there to confirm it. Yeah, boom, right there. Then we have lower lows right here, see? And here is the divergence. See how it's pointing up? That means the price is going to go up here. It's going to go up. Which it did go up. Which was awesome. Right there. Made points. And then we had a high retracement, higher high. There's divergence in here too. What is this? Oil. Holy fuck. Okay, and then we had a down arrow to sell it in there. Say you sold it somewhere around there. Your stop would have been 20. And it went down 26. So you would have got your one-to-one -one right in there. Then we had, that's higher highs divergence. Oh, I forgot to mark it on the Osma right here, ladies and gents. I got it. I got it. There it is. Okay, that's that trade. This trade was good. This trade was good. You sold and made money here. You bought here. You made money here. You sold sold it and made money here. And then you bought it right here. Let me show that to you. Hold on. So right here to right there like that. And you would have bought it in there. And look what it done. It went up like a hundred fucking points. Went up a hundred, man, on oil. Woo-wee! Gotta love that. And there's more divergence up here. Oh my god. It's just it's on every turn. Do you see this, ladies and gentlemen? Do you see it? But most important, do you believe it? You gotta believe. You see. Yeah, this is basically it also, what I'm about to say here is that if you don't have belief and trust in your system and when it sets up to take the setup, you're going to be sitting there going, ah, not do it. And you're gonna, then you're going to watch it go in your direction and make money. That could have made money for you. You know? There you have it. Every fucking turn, there's divergence. Hold on, I didn't finish this one. Right here. You see that? And the entry was right there. Okay? How many trades do you see on here today, ladies and gentlemen? There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. And there is five. Five trades on oil today. All winners. Chicken fucking dinner. Yeah. You got to believe and trust and have faith in your system to take the trades. I know it's easier said than done, but, but that's the truth. When it all comes down, you know, to the boiling point, that's, that's what it is. 
That's what's stopping so many traders from making profits daily. Is they have a system, they they know it works, but when it comes to getting in and reacting and taking action, you fail to do so because you, you you think in your mind right away the fear comes in and says, oh, what if this one doesn't work? Because it, it doesn't always work. But you know another thing you got to look at? If you can successfully find the setups, even your own setups, whatever it is, all the time, every day, as long as your win rate is like much higher than your losing rate, you got to you got to say you got to say to yourself, "Well, listen. I know it works 7 to 9 times out of 10." So, you got to do the math and figure it out. Like you got you got to have a you got to have a destination where it's going, like a take profit and a stop, right? You got to you got to go by that. I don't go by that myself. I just wing it. <laughs> but that's me, okay? So Every time I seem to put a stop on it, I don't know, shit goes wrong. I don't know why, but it just does that to a lot of traders. But if you have a high winning rate, you should be able to make, even if you hit that loser, you should be able to, you know, make profit each day, you know, as long as you're not doubling up and tripping up and tripling up and, you know, and putting on too many too many contracts or whatever, that's like having so more trust than you need. So if you do too many trades in, in one day, if you do more than five trades in one day, that's over trading. If you add on to a position, one to three more contracts or lots or whatever, you're, you're over trading again. You got to break yourself from that habit. Anyway, I think I, I talked enough about that for today. Anyway, isn't that incredible, though? One, two, three, four, five setups here in, in, a, in a time span of, I don't know, 10 hours. Oh, look, she's shooting back up. What is that? Oh, that's, that's oil. Well, that's good. It's shooting back up. <laughs> and the NASDAQ just retraced now. See, it's, it's finding resistance at that point where I showed you. See? See right here? Let me put a line on that sucker. Well, there is a line there, but it's green. Okay, now you see the red. So what are we going to do? Fool around here and come back down? Or are we going to break through and go to new highs or to the high and then come down? So anyway, that's what's going on with that. Okay, so I, I looked at oil. Now I need to look at gold. Oh, Fook, look at this. It's all very, very choppy and wicky. Lots of wicks. Look at all the wicks. Wick, wick, wicky, wicksters. But you know what? There was a trade here anyway. If you draw it all the way down through the wickies. See that? See that, Fook? Here's something you can learn from. Uh, right here. Up like that. See? That's divergence. After that crazy shit, would you want to buy? <laughs> I don't know. I would. I would have left it like halfway in between this fucking shit right here. But anyway, here is the trade. You would have got long right there. Your stop would have been at the swing low, forty-one ticks, and it went up eighty ticks, almost two to one win loss ratio on that one. All right, and uh, there's no divergence here. The price. Or the Osma followed the price way up here. There's no divergence up here to sell. Although you would have to sell is a cross down from the 5, from the 7. But look what it did after that. It went right back up. Well, you would have been selling up here. You would have got something. You would have got something. You would have sold right, you know. You would have, you would have made 30 to 40 pips or ticks. And there's nothing here. Okay, that's the end of the markets. Now let's take a look at uh, Bitcoin. Oh, she came back up a little. XRP, what did you do today? Oh, it's up a little. That's nice. And silver, probably down more. No, it's around the same price. It came down, though. And we already looked at gold and ether. Oh, Ether, wrong, wrong. Uh, 
wrong time frame. I always look at, yeah, the weekly. There's that big boner there. Okay. It's not really gone to new highs yet from there. Okay, so that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I am so glad you came out and took the time to watch my setups. They're all valid, whether they win or whether they lose. I show them to you every day. That's my dedication and loyalty to all my followers. I want you to see that I'm, I'm not making this up. I'm not just throwing fucking dots and, and, and arrows on the fucking and, and thumbs up on the fucking chart for nothing. There's a reason. And when it goes bad and there's a loser, well, most of the time, it never goes back to the swing low or swing high. So, gotta like that. So anyway, um, I want you all to have a great weekend. Have some barbecues and beers. Gotta love that. And uh, we'll see you on Tuesday, I believe it is. There's the... We had our long weekend up here in Canada uh, last weekend. We call it May 2-4 weekend up here. And uh, it was actually good on the, on the Sunday and the Monday. It was really nice and sunny and warm. Um, you have a, you guys call it Memorial Day, I think, on Monday. Yeah. Barbecues and beers. <laughs> so anyway, if you keep trading today, be careful. We'll see you on Tuesday. Good luck and good trading.